In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your own Discord channel. If you have not heard much about Discord, it's basically an instant messaging social platform. It's very easy to build communities on here. For example, I have a Discord channel for one of my courses. You can sort of use it as a membership group. You can even create a private Discord for your own friends. And yeah, just sort of think of it as a private chat room that you can monetize if you want. For my own Discord channel, I actually had my Crave director set it up for me. His name is Joey, and he's going to be showing you exactly Exactly how to set one up just like mine. So without further ado, let's get started. Hey guys, it's Joey. And today I'm going to be taking you guys through how to set up your discord server. We're just going to be going over the basics and I'm going to go in depth as much as I can. So if you haven't already go to discord and then sign up for an account. And then once you're there, you'll see at the bottom, it says add a server. You'll click on that and then create my own. And then it says for a club or community or for me and my friends. So this is where you get to decide whether or not you want a large community of people. This is where you get like a bunch of people in a server. And this one is more for just a small group of friends, you know? So for this one, we're just gonna choose this one, but it really doesn't matter. This is where you're gonna name it. So we'll name it test server. You could skip this part for now. That's just gonna change the icon picture. So we'll create this one and from here, you'll have your server. So you'll be right here and then you can change your name to whatever you want. So if I want, I can edit my server profile and then give myself that name. And that takes us to the next section, which is gonna be category. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the top left here where it says your server name. And then you'll see it says create category right here. So you'll click on that and then you'll give your category a name. So from this one, we're just gonna do welcome info and then create category. So you'll see right here, it creates a category for you and you can drag this wherever you want and we'll drag it to the top here and then from here we can create channels inside of the category so we're gonna click on that and we'll create a text channel called a welcome and then we'll create another one called introductions so there's a bunch of different channels that you can add in here but it's really up to you I'm just gonna add in a bunch of different channels in here so that you guys can see what an example would look like Okay, so I just went ahead and put in some chats that are normally in a bunch of different Discord channels. I'll show you guys later how you can spice up the text a little bit here with the emojis and stuff like that. But for now, let's just leave it as it is. So next we're going to talk about roles. So a role is going to be shown on the right hand side right here, and then it's going to change your color. And then it's also going to change the title right here. So in order to change the roles, you need to go click on test server or your server name right here, and then click on server settings. Once you're here, you're going to go over to roles. And then this is where you can create your roles. Once you create one, you'll have a bunch of different things here, but we're gonna go over it right now. First is a role name. So you're gonna wanna give them a role. Let's say we'll make a role for a member. And then we can change the color to let's say green. And then once we go to the permissions, that's where we can see what the members can do. So we want the members to be able to view the channels. We don't want them to be able to manage the channels. We don't want them to manage roles. We don't want them to manage emojis or stickers. We do want them to create invites. Unless your discord is a private server, then you'll want to keep this on so that people can invite their friends to the server. And then you can just let them change their nickname too. Why not? You don't want them to kick members or ban members. You do want them to send messages and send messages and threads, embed links, attach files, external emojis. And you probably want to turn this one off where it says mention at everyone at here in all roles, because when you at somebody in the discord, it's going to give them a notification. And so this can get very annoying when people are getting pinged, but they don't want to. You want them to be able to connect to the voice channels and speak, share their video and everything else you could probably leave the same. So once we're done with that, we can click on save changes. And then while we're at it, we can add other roles right here where it says create role. And then let's just create one for moderators. We'll make this one yellow. And then on the permissions, we're just gonna change a few things. So we'll allow them to manage channels, manage roles, and pretty much all of these, since they're gonna be overseeing the server. We'll let them kick members and ban members, but I mean, again, this is all up to you and your server if you want your moderators to be able to do that. We'll let them manage messages, manage threads. And if you want, you can also give them administrator. It says members with this permission will have every permission and will also bypass all channel specific permissions or restrictions. And so this is basically gonna give them access to pretty much everything in the server and let them do anything. This is a pretty dangerous permission to grant, but you know, if you trust them, then turn it on for them. Once you're done with that, you can click save changes. And then over here you have the manage members. So instead of doing this, what you can do that's actually easier is you can go ahead and right click on somebody's profile, go to roles, and then you can add them to the member or the moderators right here. So I have both of these checked. And then if you click on me, then you can see that I have the roles of member 
and moderators. But yeah, that's just way easier than actually going into the server settings and then having to go through roles and then you know going into here and then managing members and all that. It's, it's much easier to do that through the way that I just showed you. One thing that I forgot to mention is that you're going to want to display role members separately from online members. You'll see why in a second when I invite some bots into the server, but basically it's going to separate the roles right here where it shows different members. So yeah, for pretty much every different role, you're gonna want to display role members separately from online members. From here, once you have the role set up, then you can start setting up permissions for the role. So this is useful when you have something like a moderator chat that you want only the mods to be able to access. So in order to do that, you're gonna want to click on edit channel. You're gonna wanna go to permissions, and then this is where you can start adding different roles to it. So because you don't want at everyone to see it, then you're gonna want to click on X on the view channel and that's going to not allow them to see the channel not being able to see the channel is pretty much going to negate everything else under here and then once we've done that we can add a role and we'll go ahead and add moderator the moderators will be able to view the channel they'll be able to manage it and i'll pretty much be turning everything on except for create invite because obviously we don't want people getting invited to that and once that's done you can click on save changes and you can see up here that it says add members or roles so from here you can actually add people specifically so if you don't want it to just be restricted to only moderators you can also do moderators and let's say a specific member and then now once we exit out we can see that it has this little lock icon over it this is because we did the permissions and then now only moderators can access that chat so we can also do the same to voice channels so let's say that we want to create a voice channel for moderators only and then from here we can go to edit channel and then we can go to permissions and then do the same exact thing so x on view channel add a role and then add moderators okay now that we have all of that set up now is when we can start inviting bots into the server. Now, when it comes to general bots, you have a bunch of different options. I know there's Dinobot, there's Carlbot, there's Me6. I recommend either going with Me6 or Carlbot. Now, Me6, I would say, is a lot simpler. So you can start off with this if you're a beginner. But if you want more options, then I suggest going with Carlbot because you can do a lot more things like, like YouTube channel updates. And yeah, just things that you would have to pay for for Me6. So in order to get these bots into your server, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to log in and it'll ask you if you want to give access and then you're just gonna authorize. So once that's done, you can go back to your Discord and then you'll see that Me6 is right there. Now, one thing that I forgot to do was actually create a role for the bots. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So name it bots and then you can change it to whatever color you want. And then right here, something that's important is you're gonna want to put them in order from authority. So you're gonna want moderators to be on top, obviously. And then you want the bots to be over the members and then Me6 can be above bots. So we're gonna save changes and then exit out. And once that's done, we can go to me6 and then add him to the boss role. So you can see right here, it says online for him. But remember when we said to actually separate the roles, so we're gonna do that right now. Right here where it says display role members separately from online members, we're gonna check that, save changes, and once we go back out, we'll see that it says bot. And so this is the separation that I was talking about. So once we have that done, we can go back to me6, and then we'll see a bunch of different options right here. Now I'm just gonna go over the main stuff that you need, which is the welcome message and maybe reaction roles. But if you guys want a longer video of me going in depth on either me6 or carlbot or any of the bots then just let us know in the comments down below and then we'll create a separate video for that so the main thing that you're going to want to do is click on welcome right here and then you're going to want to check send a message when a user joins the server and then you're also going to want to do give a role to new members once somebody joins the server they're going to be under the everyone role you don't want that you want to give them the member role so you can see right here it says roles are given to new users when they join the server we'll go ahead and save that and then we'll move up to the send message so right here this is going to be the welcome message whenever a user joins the server. And then this is going to go into the welcome chat. And right here, you're gonna see there's a text message right here that you can customize. And yeah, if we just click on save right now, and then let's say we add Carlbot to the server. So we can go on invite, we have the test server selected, and then click continue, authorize. And then we have to do the verification. Once that's done, we can go back to the Discord channel and we'll see right here in welcome. Me6 will say, hey, Carlbot, welcome to test server. You also have these that show up whenever something happens. And you can actually change this by going to your server settings and then changing this into the mod chat. That way, whenever something happens in the system, it'll pop up in the mod chat instead of letting everybody know in the general chat. So I right hear because he's a bot, we're gonna add him to the bot section. 
And yeah, if you go to the dashboard, you can see pretty much all the main tools that you'll need from Mi 6. And you can see they have a birthday one that wishes users birthday. You have the music quiz, you have music, economy, and there's a bunch of different cool things that you can do. But you can see right here that it says social connectors, and then you'll have to get a one year plan with them to do that. So next up, we have the server stats bot. And this one's a super simple bot to install, but it makes the server look a lot better. So you're going to go to this website right here. By the way, all these websites are going to be linked in the description below for you guys. But yeah, once you get here, you're going to click on invite the bot and it's going to be the same exact process you're going to add it to the server do the verification and then you're going to see it pop up in your channel you can also just find other bots on top.gg and i know there's other websites that you can go to in order to get bots so we'll go ahead and invite birthday bot too so we'll go ahead and move them over to the bots role and then from here you can also see in the mod chat that they showed up if you go into your roles and your server settings you'll also see them show up right here so i usually like to just put these above the bots and then from there, you can actually start setting up the bots. So the first thing we're going to set up is the server stats. And in order to do that, we're going to go down to the messages right here. And then we're going to type in slash setup. Once we type that in, we'll see the setup for the server stats. We'll click that and then we'll select a option. So we'll choose the voice channel for now, but I'll explain what these ones are in a second. So we'll choose voice channel and then we'll press enter. And once that's done, you'll see right here up top that the server stats is set up and you'll see that it's a voice channel. So earlier when I said that I was going to explain it to you guys and it gave you the option of text channel or announcement channel. This basically has no effect other than changing this right here from a voice channel to a text channel or an announcement channel, but it doesn't really matter. So I just recommend doing the voice channel and this is going to be locked out to everybody so they can only see it, but that's pretty much how to set up the server stats. So it shows you how many members there are, how many bots there are, and then how many members there are in total. You can go ahead and change all of these. So you can go to change this total if you wanted it doesn't really matter so next what you guys can do to spice up all of these chats right here is to actually go on this website right here coolsymbol.com they have a ton of symbols that you guys can just click on and copy and you can actually paste them onto the channel name so right here you can actually choose the waving hand emoji once you click on it it'll say that it has been copied and then you can paste it anywhere so we'll go back to the channel and then we're going to paste it we can give it a little space and then click save changes now if you don't like this dash right here that it automatically does for you you can copy this one right here where it says heavy horizontal horizontal or you can click on the vertical one. I'll do the vertical one. So I'll copy that one and then I'll go back to my channel and then I'll paste that. And then it gives a much nicer spacing between the emoji and the words. You can do that with the rest of them, just like I did on this server right here. And yeah, you can just find a bunch of different other cool symbols to use and then paste them into your Discord channel. So next we'll set up the birthday bot. So in here we'll type in slash and then set up. You'll see the, the birthday bots right here. We'll click setup and then we'll press enter. From here, it's gonna send you a message saying create new channel, select pre-existing channel or no birthday channel. For this one, we already have a birthday channel right here. So we'll just click on pre-existing channel. But before that, we're actually gonna to wanna to create a role for birthday. So we'll go into roles and then create new and then we'll call this one birthday, give it a color, display role members separately from online members. Permissions, we'll change that later, but from now we'll just save changes. Once you do that, you can mention the birthday role and then it'll say you have successfully completed the required server setup. Once you do that, you can press slash and then you can on birthday bot and if you scroll down then you can see set which will set your birthday so we'll do slash set we'll click on set your birthday so from here it's going to send you a message telling you to find your time zone and then click on the location on the map so we'll go ahead and click on map time zone picker it'll take us to this website right here and you can choose where you are in the world so i'm in la so i'm going to choose that and then it's going to select the time so i'll click copy go back to the channel and then we'll go ahead and paste it into the chat. Once that's done, it's going to ask you to confirm the information and then you'll just click on the green check mark. And in my case, I've set it to November 11th and it's in America, Los Angeles. So that's pretty much it for setting up the basics of your Discord channel. There are so many other things that you can do with Discord. It's super advanced. For example, if you want a rules channel and if you want it to look something like this, then you'll need a web hook. And so for web hooks, you're going to go to Disco hook and then you're going to do all of this right here. But this is pretty complicated. And so I'll save this for another video. Again, comment down below if you guys want to see a video of that and also comment down below if you have any questions anyways i hope you guys found this tutorial video helpful and feel free to reference it anytime you want because i know it can be quite complicated to set one up but just know that discord is an amazing platform you can do so much with it you can monetize it you can you know create a community and yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video and got some value from it uh, i'd really appreciate you guys if you hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel we are all about giving you guys free how-to videos and guides which are aimed at helping you build your own business. Thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next video.